Calculate the node voltages in the circuit shown in figure. This is node 1, this is node 2. We have to find the voltage of node 1 and voltage of node 2. Solution First of all, we will redraw the circuit. Let us say this node 1 voltage is V1 and this node 2 voltage is V2. Now let us say this is reference node. This is reference node. This is reference node. All the currents are towards reference node. Let us say this is current. This is I1, this is I2, this is I3. All the currents are towards reference node. Now we will apply apply KCL at node V1 or 1. So entering current, summation of current entering a node is equal to summation of current leaving a node. So, phi u is entering. So, phi u is equal to phi u is equal to leaving current is I1 and I3. So, I1 plus I3. I1 plus I3. Now, this I1 is equal to phi u is equal to I1. I1 is V1 minus V2 by 4. V1 minus V2 by 4 plus I3. This I3. I3 is V1 minus 0 by 2. V1 minus 0 by 2 ohm. Now we will multiply both sides by 4. Multiply both side by 4. So this will be 20 is equal to V1 minus V2 plus this V1 by 2 multiply by 4 will be 2V1. Now this will be 20 is equal to 3V1, 3V1 minus V2. This is equation number 1. Now we will apply Apply KCL at node V2. Apply KCL at node V2 or 2. So, if you apply KCL at node V2, summation of entering current. So, entering current is I1 plus 10 I1 plus 10 is the entering current is equal to leaving current is I2 plus 5 I2 plus 5 or this will be 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 is equal to I2 minus 1, I2 minus, I2 minus I1. This will be phi u is equal to I2 minus I1. Phi u is equal to I2 is, I2 is V2 minus 0 by 6. V2 minus 0 by 6 minus now i1 this i1 is v1 minus v2 by 4 v1 minus v2 by 4 now we will simplify this so we will multiply both side multiply both sides by 12. So, this will be 
this will be 60 is equal to this will be 2 v2 minus this will be 3 v1 minus or directly this will be 3 v1 minus minus plus 3 v2 now further after simplification this will be 60 is equal to minus 3 v1 and this will be 5 plus 5 v2 this is equation number 2 now using cramer's rule or by elimination method or directly using calculator we can solve the equation number 1 and equation number 2 so in calculator mode 5 and 1 and we will put the values so from equation number 1 3 minus 1 20 then from equation number 2 minus 3 5 60 so v1 is equal to v1 is equal to 13.33 volt and v2 is equal to 20 20 volts now we have the value of v1 and v2 from this we can find the value of i1 i2 and i3 so i1 is equal to i1 is equal to 5 i1 is v1 minus v2 by 4 v1 minus v2 by 4 this will be v1 is 13.33 minus v2 is 20 by 4 13.33 minus 20 by 4 minus 1.66 minus 1.6675 next i2 i2 is equal to i2 will be v2 minus 0 by 6 v2 minus 0 by 6 the value of v2 is 20 so 20 by 6 this will be 20 by 6 3.33 the unit of current is ampere here also ampere then i3 I three will be V one minus zero by two. V one minus zero by two. Value of V one is thirteen point three three by two. Thirteen point three three by two. Six point six six five. Six point six six five. and ampere unit of current is ampere for electrical and electronics engineering related questions and answers visit the link in the description below